Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So here is the second how to begin calisthenics as a beginner because I get asked this by people time and time again. And today we're gonna to be focused upon legs and I'm gonna teach you four different leg exercises that I would recommend doing on a regular basis that are just all around amazing leg building exercises. But before we go on to them, what you always wanna make sure you do as with any type of calisthenics workout you're gonna do, you want to warm up the muscles so they're ready to train hard. So you don't run the risk of having an injury and just so your body is ready to go. So yeah, first off, I'm gonna do some dynamic stretching. So with this one, you wanna keep this leg straight as much as possible and this one, which some people can have really tight hamstrings, if it's not as straight as possible, then don't worry. But what you do is you lift your leg up like this and then go back like that. And you can do it about holding onto something. But if you find it hard to balance, then just hold on to something. And what I recommend is doing 12 forward and 12 backwards, like so. And yeah, this is really good for loosening up the hamstrings and really just getting the hamstrings ready and other leg muscles as well and yeah it's a lot better than doing static stretching before at least in my personal opinion some people would disagree with that so yeah make sure that you do it on both legs so both legs are warmed up and so they're both stretched out equally and ideally, you want to warm up for around five to 10 minutes. The longer, the better, to be honest. But obviously, you don't want to do it too long so you're not drained for your workout. And then the next one we do, which is really going to help warm up your quads and your glutes and other various leg muscles as well. So this one, you pull your knee all the way up as high as you possibly can. Some people will be able to lift up higher than others. And then you switch to the other leg and pull it up. So when you come here, don't just hold it, pull it up. Then it's really stretching out the quad and really engaging it more. And you want to do 12 on each side. And when you're doing all of these, make sure that you're being aware of your breath. Don't be holding your breath at all. It's like with yoga, you wanna do circular breathing. So in through the nose and out through the mouth. The reason why I say in through the nose and out through the mouth is because it actually lowers your heart rate and it's more calming for the nervous system if you're going to do quite an intense workout well you might not be but in my case i would be so yeah it can have quite a stress on your body and your nervous system so making sure you're not overstimulating it when warming up is a really good idea so now i'm going to do jumping jacks and yeah they're not the best thing for warming up your legs, but they definitely help warm up your legs because you're obviously jumping and moving about. But it's just an all around good warming up exercise for your whole body and it helps get your heart rate up and get that blood flowing and just, yeah, getting your body really in a state to do some training. So how you do these, very simple, like this. If you want to make them a bit more intense to yourself, you obviously jump a bit more and go wider. But yeah, you just do it as I am now. And yeah, depending on how many you feel that you need to do, go with how many you need. I normally do around 50 before starting a workout. And a lot of the time I incorporate this in most warm up exercises. But yeah, anywhere from 10 to 20 should be fine. But if you feel you need to do more, then do more. If you feel you need to do less, then do less. We're all different and we all need different things. So just be mindful of knowing what you need so yeah now we're going to get on to the leg exercises and what i would recommend is when you're doing your workouts get your phone get a stopwatch like so 
and start timing your workout. Because you do want to be working out how long to rest for, some people prefer to count in their head, I'd rather not do that at all. But I would recommend, as a beginner, resting for around 60 seconds and no longer and no less. Because if you do it less, you may find that you're just finding the next exercise is too hard and the whole workout. But if you're doing it too long, you're resting the muscles too long and then you're not gonna maximize the muscle growth and you're not gonna fatigue them as much to get the best results that you possibly can. So yeah, the first exercise that I'm gonna share with you, which most people are aware of, is squats. And yeah, as it's calisthenics, it's not with weight, but you could add weight if you wanted to and do some weighted calisthenics. But what you want is your feet about hip width apart. Don't have your toes out like that or your feet in like that. You can do different modifications for different reasons to target muscles differently. But we're just doing the standard squat. And make sure that when you come down that you do go ass to grass. And don't be down like this. Try and keep your chest up as much as possible and make sure that you're leaning back slightly so you can be as straight as possible and then yeah obviously when you come up make sure that you come all the way up don't be doing these like half reps where people go like this it's just absolutely pointless it's an unnecessary it's not the way you do squats completely and what i'd recommend is with all of these different exercises trying to do around six different leg exercises you could do four and do three to four rounds so you could incorporate these different exercises that i'm sharing with you into your workout with other exercises so i recommend doing at least 12 reps and with your arms they could be out here they could be here but just do what feels comfortable for you for me they feel really comfortable there and yeah this is for absolute beginners for people that are not absolute beginners, you're gonna find it too easy. So, for people that find it too easy, you really want to challenge yourself. And each exercise that you're doing for your legs, within the first few reps or so, if it's not really aching your muscles and being a strain on them, it's not hard enough for you. So swap a different exercise or modify the one that you're doing. So, if you're someone that finds that too easy or you do that for a while and then you find yeah you need something more to challenge you then you can do things such as jumping squats which these are going to get the heart rate up a lot lot more and yeah it's just going to be a lot harder incorporated into your workout so with this one you jump up like so and you can throw your arms up if you want which quite a few people do which can help you go higher but go as high as feel good to you so some people you could just go like a little bit like this and as it becomes easier, jump really, really high. And this makes it so much harder. And make sure when you come down, you don't just fall down. Gradually come down like so, look. Engage those legs. Not all the way down like that, like slow and controlled. Rather than just relaxing the muscles and not doing it correctly. And if you're someone that finds it too easy still like that, which to be honest, you're going to have to be quite advanced to find that quite hard, you can use something like a bench. So you could jump up and then come down, jump up and down. And what I do normally in my workouts to make it as hard as possible, what I do is jump up, squat, come down, and instead of fall off, I jump. So that's the people that start to get more advanced with it. And yeah, I'm already getting a sweat on. It's my heart rate is definitely a lot higher. It's harder to breathe. But yeah, it's all good. It's doing the trick. And then the next exercise that I'm gonna recommend is a calf raise. Because you wanna make sure you're doing different exercises that target different muscles because when you're pretty much doing any leg exercises it is targeting most of the muscles but different exercises target more of different muscles so the calf raises really help engage the calves a lot more so you can build your calves and a lot of people find it really hard to build calves that are very well defined and muscular so how you do this one 
for complete beginners is really really simple keep your back straight your whole body straight have your abs engaged your legs engaged and all you do is go onto your toes as high as possible as you can see here don't just be going like that unless you find it too hard to go up that high but the higher you go the harder it's going to be and the more it's going to engage your, ab your calves and you're actually going to feel it way way more so as you can see mine are up quite high and what I'd say when you're doing this don't just be like this as with any exercise don't do fast reps it's hardly engaging the muscles at all and you're not going to get the results you see so many people doing that all different types of calisthenic exercise and it's a bad idea do it with good form controlled so you can really feel it so now especially when I get to that point I can really feel it well and if you want to make it slightly harder like I am now hover your feet slightly over the ground when you go down don't let them rest down like that instead go up and down like that you see it's slightly hovered above but it's not touching so it's keeping the time under tension on your muscles there for a lot longer which fatigues it way more and again with this one you want to do 12 reps incorporate this into your workout do three to four rounds of these and it's the same with all of the exercises that I'm going to share with you and if you're someone that finds you can't balance so well hold on to something like this but if you're someone that's got better balance then I recommend doing it about holding on to something and yeah if you find one that is finding that too easy and you're starting to advance more then you can do one legged ones you can even do it with holding on saying if you haven't got good balance if you've got good balance you can do it without and what you may find is over time that even becomes too easy so you could do some weighted calisthenics add a dumbbell in your hand and that will make it a lot harder and as well as this exercise at targeting your calves it's also targeting a bit of your hamstrings because i can feel it i can touch the muscle there and feel that it's quite engaged and the glutes and a little bit of the quadriceps as well but yeah as i said you're going to notice it mostly on the calves and i've got to mention with the squats the squats is really quite good for your quadriceps it's really good for your glutes and your hamstrings and there's a slight minimal amount of tension on your calves but hardly at all so it's not really good for building calves whatsoever so this is why you want a variation of different exercises that target different muscles more so than other leg muscles and now to the third exercise and this one you're going to want a timer for this one because we're going to do walking lunges and what i'd say is with the walking lunges you want to try and do it for about a minute but if you're a beginner you can probably only do it for 20 or 30 seconds so just push yourself to your limit and don't stop too early do it to the point where you feel that you can no longer go whatsoever. Your legs may be shaking, they may be aching really badly, but push through the pain to get those gains. So with the walking lunges, which they look like this, they're going to really be targeting your hamstrings, also your glutes. And I've noticed as well, it's also targeting a little bit of the calves but more on the outside side of the calves and also on the left side as well but it's mostly a glutes and a hamstring exercise and yeah this one can be quite intense it can make your heart rate go up quite high but it's an all-round amazing calisthenics exercise for your legs and make sure as well when you are here and you start from the standing position you try and put your leg out as far as possible don't be just going like here it's not going to work because what you want is for your knee to be about in line with the whole leg you don't really want it forwards or backwards that's not the perfect form and you can run into some injury issues with that as well so be careful so yeah not really short or here make sure you're going out almost as far as you can or say around 90 percent and when you get here if you lean forward and bend you'll see that the knee goes forward so what you want to do is when you come down here and if you come around here and show them a little bit more closely so you can see this leg this leg as you see the foot is balanced on the toes and is coming down 
like so. And you want your knee to almost touch the floor, so hover just above it, and then come back up to move forward. So I'll show you the full range of this motion with this type of exercise and show you how to do it effectively. So if we get the timer and we set it, one minute five, so I can just wait a little while and now I'll go. So yeah, when you come here, lean slightly back and down and keep your back up and your torso as straight as possible and head up. And then what you do, go forward like so. And for some people, this is gonna be harder than for other people due to balance issues. But just do the best that you can do because that's all that you can do for obvious reasons. And yeah, this one really gets the heart rate up as well. So it's a really good like cardio exercise at the same time as a good all round calisthenics leg exercise. And again, don't be doing this at a really fast, do it with good form, control. Don't be doing like this. <laughs> We're not in CrossFit. So yeah, do it at a moderate pace. Then once your timer goes off, you can stop that exercise and then you can move on to the last exercise or whatever ever exercise you incorporate in your calisthenics leg routine. So yeah, let's move on to the other one. And one thing I'd like to mention is with that exercise, when you're out here, like I said, you want this 90 degree angle, but also don't have your feet out, it's like this or like that. Have it straight in front of you, have your leg completely straight, have this leg completely straight and yeah just try and get your balance as good as possible but when you're saying completely straight with your feet and in the other way that I mentioned at the back it's going to be a lot easier to do it and for some people they might find it too hard to go all the way down to the floor so if you do you can either just go down not as far or you can go down on your knee like so rest for a little bit and then you can go and then as you find it easier over time then you'll do it without putting your knee down and if you're someone that wants to challenge yourself and make it even harder you could do some weighted calisthenics walking lunges and add some barbells to you or even get a weighted vest which i've sometimes used a weighted vest or weights added to me so now we're going on to the last exercise. And this next exercise, you don't actually see a lot of people, well I haven't at least, doing this in the gym. And this is lateral lunges. And it's very unique and different to all the other different types of exercises. And yeah, it's one that I love to do. And I've done quite a lot on my calisthenics journey. I mean this one, if you wanna make it harder, you can add dumbbells or a weighted vest to you. So what you do is put your feet out as far as possible and some people will keep both their feet straight but I find it's better to turn one foot out. So how you do this is go down like this. So as you can see my feet one foot straight, one turned out at a 45 degree angle. This leg completely straight, you don't want it like this, you don't want it like that. And when you come down you're going to lower this leg down and you're gonna bend this knee forward. And what some people might find is you can't go really, really wide, as wide as possible. It can just be too intense for some people. It cannot feel comfortable for some people. So find a sweet spot for you that feels comfortable to you, that is challenging you, so you can really grow the muscle. So yeah, when you come down, bend this knee forward. Don't be like bending down like this or like out like this. Bend it forward as if you're doing a squat. And this is really good for your quadriceps, also your hamstring and your glutes as well. And when you're doing this, you're gonna feel a good stretch on your hamstrings as well. And make sure when you're doing this, you're doing this on the surface with really good grip because this is not at all, so my feet are sliding and make sure it's as flat as possible as with all of your different leg exercises. So yeah, I need to actually move my foot a bit more because it's slide. 
so yeah come all the way down like so do the full range of motion and keep your back up as straight as possible people that have tighter hip flexors like me you're not going to be able to be completely straight but just do your best and come down as low as feels comfortable to you my leg muscles are actually quite tight especially my hamstrings right now i need to do some more yoga to stretch them but yeah just do the best that you can do and don't do like little ones like this or do it really fast do it with a good amount of control and good form and do it at a moderate pace and what you want to do is ideally try and do 12 on each side so you then swap to the other side after you've done 12 there and yeah you can really feel that in the hamstrings on this side and on this side it's more engaging the quadriceps but yeah it's a really unique exercise and I've really liked it a lot and if you're someone that's finding it too hard to balance you could get something like this in front of you to help balance you and as your balance improves over time then you can let go of it and if you're someone that's fighting it's too hard to get up you could use a bit of assistance with your arms I'm not recommend that you necessarily do that or I haven't got one now but you also could get a resistance band and you could wrap it around here hold on to it and pull yourself up a little bit if that helps i'll put some links down below for high quality resistance bands in case you're interested in them i think anyone getting into calisthenics really really needs them and yeah if you're someone that's going to add some weight hold the weight in one or two arms and get it to come down like here have your arms on the inside don't be hitting on your knee like so and yeah it's going to challenge you and what I say is with my own calisthenics journey, calisthenics is really, really good for building the leg muscles, but you may find as you get more advanced with it, that a lot of the leg exercises don't challenge you enough. So you need to start adding some weight or even start doing some body building exercises. But I find that the legs with calisthenics training specifically, seems to get the heart rate up a lot more than doing bodybuilding. So it's a lot better for fat burning at the same time as building your leg muscles. So a quick recap over everything. Do it with good form. Don't do it too fast, do it at moderate speed. Make sure that you warm up for around 10 minutes before. Do four to six different leg exercises with four to eight rounds of each leg exercise. If you don't know what a round is, one round, say with four different exercises, would be every single different exercise that you've got out of those four ones done. That's one round. And then once you do them all again, that's your second round. And also, as I mentioned, make sure that you are pushing yourself and challenging yourself. Don't make it too easy, but don't make it too hard where you can't finish the workouts whatsoever. Try and do 12 reps on each different exercise. If it's a single leg exercise, like the one legged calf raises you do 12 on each side and what I'd recommend is with a leg workout with calisthenics just do it once a week that's all I've done you don't need to do it loads and loads and loads unless you're not training correctly and really tearing the muscle fibers and making them fatigued as much as possible and they should be aching for at least two to three days or even longer if you're new or if you're pushing it really 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 hard so remember, if you're not getting the results, you're not doing it correctly. And make sure that you do them consistently as well. So that's it for this video. If you'd like me to make any other beginner calisthenics videos, let me know down below. Because yeah, I've been doing calisthenics for over a year now and I managed to gain over 10 kilos of muscle with calisthenics. Only if you haven't seen that video where I show you my transformation and where I'm at with my skill level with calisthenics now, I'll put a link for it up above. And yeah, just remember, to enjoy yourself when you're working out and if you can find some friends to join in do that as well and do as much research as you can online about actually doing calisthenics correctly so you can get those results over time and then as you get better you'll be able to do harder things such as muscle ups or even things such as dragon flags which a lot of people want to be able to do like so and you can impress your friends but also just get to where you want it with your skill level and get covered in sand at the same time 
because yeah that's just going to help you get those gains more <laughs> so yeah if you have any questions leave them down below as always if you like the video like it down below give us a thumbs up don't forget to share this with your friends and people that may be interested in this video and i need to breathe quickly <sighs> training and speaking a lot it really is quite intense on your breathing <laughs> so i need to catch some breath there and yeah don't forget to subscribe to me to get well subscribe to the channel even to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis to help you go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body that you desire the fitness levels and the energy levels as well make sure if you want to be notified of when those new videos are uploaded you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise youtube are not going to notify you of when new videos are uploaded i have new ones coming almost every single day so as always stay fit stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.